Supreme Court are be hearing why the SBI had not released the alpha numeric number of each electoral bonds before releasing it to the Election Commission of India. Five judge constitution bench headed by the Chief Justice, which is hearing an application filed by the Election Commission seeking a modification of the operative portion of his March 11th order in the electoral bonds case, directed his registrar to ensure that the data filed earlier by the poll panel before it in a sealed cover be scanned and digitized. In the last hearing, the bench also comprising of uh, Justices Sanjeev Khanna has also uh, took a note of the submissions made by senior advocate Kapil Sibyl as well as Prashant Bhushan who appeared in the matter on behalf of the petitioner that the alphanumeric numbers of the electoral bonds have not been disclosed by the SBI and uh, in fact uh, it issued a notice to the bank and posted the matter for hearing and that's going to be coming up in court today. We have my colleague Sunil Prabhu joining us. Uh, Sunil, the unique code links uh, donors to political parties. I mean what was said earlier is that matching exercise was not needed. How important is this numerical number, isn't this also a matching exercise? Well, it is, uh, and it will help to actually, uh, you know, uh, jot the dots in, in the sense of a puzzle. Uh, so definitely it's important, uh, uh, no less than the Chief Justice of India said, uh, we can take exception uh, to the fact that the State Bank of India hasn't disclosed all the details. Now, uh, we'll hear today the State Bank of India and its council why they can't uh, disclose it or whether they are in agreement to do it. I think uh, those two aspects will be uh, something that uh, we will wait and watch and see how things, uh, uh, you know, uh, play out in the court. Uh, the State Bank of India will say that this unique uh, alphanumeric number uh, that is there on the electoral bonds was not open to the naked eye. It needed to, you know, you, it, it was uh, something that you would uh, have to see it uh, through uh, a lens and that's the reason for why uh, whether that data is with them readily avail available for them can they do it uh, they will attempt to delay that entire process uh, but uh, ultimately uh, the supreme court is extremely keen on ensuring that there is transparency accountability and people of this country know where their funds came from who gave it and those details will help uh, to probably match uh, you know the donor as well as the uh, the uh, political party which benefited.